live. Damn, Ladies and bro. gentlemen, we are live. October 26, 4 p.m. Tulane Live headquarters, Canoga Park, California. Today we're going live with Cycle Fanatics, a.k.a. John Bednars. But first, what's up? Just say hi. Hey, guys. Yo. This episode is brought to you by Eagle Rider Motorcycle Rentals and Tours. Don't forget to check out TulaneLife.com under the Eagle Rider tab. See how you can save some money, book a trip, ride a bike, have a good time, and uh, and get some credits. And get some credits. Get some What's credits. happening, boys? Not much, man. Hanging out. That drop yesterday, the Big Bear Run, boy, was that fantastic, man. We go up the mountains. It's in our own backyard. We show you guys a great run. We spent the night up there. Really awesome. We went up from uh, sea level to 7,000 feet. Great time. Uh, insane time. And, you know... We don't realize sometimes what we have in our own backyard. We have a you lot. Know, it's it's amazing. And, and I think we say it in the beginning of the video. We can actually get up to the mountains and out to the beach all in the same day if we want. Right. Right. Pretty damn cool. And they're big mountains. They're not just hills. They're, yeah, they're for sure. Some yeah. good stuff. And real quick, just while we're still in the beginning, once again, it's a new week and we've tried out a brand new audio setup to kind of fix some bugs so let us know in the comments if it's sounding good looking good is there a delay yada yada if you're listening on spotify have a good day thank you for listening <laughs> so we've had a few things change here uh we got a window put in our door over here so people now can actually when they're in the in the stoot or in the shop they can look through and watch us as we're sitting on camera so pretty cool there We've got the patch wall mostly finished. We still have some challenge coins we've got to put up. Um, and then speaking of that, we got this one a, a while ago, but it's from Dan Roach, who's in uh, Central PA. He sent us a couple of patches over, but it caught my eye also because he sent us some patches from Harrisburg, which is where my brother served his Mormon mission. No way. Nice. Yeah. So <laughs> how, how cool is that? So thanks, Dan. We appreciate those, and those are up on the wall. Uh, appreciate your support and service. So if you have a patch, you want to send it into us, do it. But I also, after this, or if you get some time the rest of the week, head over to the channel, watch our latest video. It was really fun, high energy, good time, you know? Well, and what's happening November 4th, boys? Oh, uh, yeah. November 4th is the, uh, Tulane life grand reopening open house party. But this party is going to be rad because everyone that we deal with and all the products we sell, not all of them, but most of them, we have Clockworks, uh, Legend, um, Cobra, Maxima Oil. Come on, help me out here. Cardo. Rockford. Rockford. Saddleman, Saddleman. Clockworks. Okay, here's uh, the deal. Fueling supply. What? Thrashing. Um, Fueling parts. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to go off and name some random things they're giving away well we're, like we have i mean there's one of those companies is giving away a 1700 dollars gift card and that's one of many many companies well that's we, all we're saying. guessing we might have ten thousand dollars in giveaways and we are really stoked because the thrash and supply builds that they had at uh, sturgis and born <laughs> free they're going to be here in our parking lot and guess what lance and juan are going to be here as well so Get your butts down here and have fun with us. Um, and for the person that asked, uh, how do we get patches? I said, mail them to us with no info. Um, email, I'll put the email down below. Yep. Sorry, I'm just oh, multitasking. Well, the, the other thing that's uh, really cool about this is we're, we're uh, working with one of our buddies. We're going to have him on the live today. Um, but he goes by 1903, Drew, Harley Drew. It's Drew and call him Little Pee Wee. He has a lot. Of, he does a lot of work with inner city youth down in Compton, and so we're going to start raising money. So you can come up to us, uh, donate ten dollars, and you'll get some raffle tickets to get into that ten thousand pot, ten thousand dollar pot of goodies. And they are some real goodies. We might even have a. We have a, three new T-shirts that are on the website, and they're they're going really good. People like them, but custom dynamics, custom dynamics. They're going to be here. They're going to. We're going to be showing and giving away some of their product as well. Um, we're giving away, I think we have a Rockford Fosgate stereo he's, unit. He's got a uh, certificate coming out. Yep. 
So Can't wait. seat from uh, Saddleman. Saddleman. We got, we got all sorts of stuff. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Legends doing expansion. Or... I mean, yeah. And we're, should I mention our potential thought on the raffle? You can. We are, are going to follow through on it. We'll see. We're toying with the idea of making the raffle a possibility for those who cannot make it. And again, all the raffle ticket sales are just going directly to Harley Drew's charity. Um, so we're just trying to find out an interesting, honest, creative way to track that so that everyone has an equal chance. You don't have to be Maybe here. Maybe through the website. Yeah, through the website. We're working yep. on it. Either way, some great stuff is uh, coming your way. So, so let's daily, raise, let's raise some money for a great cause. Yes. So daily, we are going to have a, a, a story up showing a new giveaway, what's happening for this event. We're going to do it all the way up to the event. It's going to be awesome. Harley has given us some stuff. Yeah, We have a couple leather jackets. Uh, it's going to be a lot of stuff. Cooler. I mean, it's going to be a come good time. Man. So come, come out. Watch our and, stuff all next week. It's next Saturday. And the other guy is going to be here is right here. SoCal Squatch. He's uh, got some award-winning chili. And uh, he's going to be here whipping up some chili. So That's right. We're getting kind of scared. There might be a good crowd here. And, Ralph, I tried it last night. I Honestly, I could have used a little more spice, if I'm being no. honest. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I like it as spicy. I tried today. It was excellent. Love it's it. It's still delicious. Well, let's let's get started. All we right. have this really good guy that's uh, been waiting in the wings for a minute for us, and met him what a couple of years ago, and and just we've seen him at a couple of different Harley shoots, and really have enjoyed you know his down to earth demeanor. He's a great person, uh, so we thought, why not get him on the live and and hear his story and, and what's happening? So who do we have over there? This week on Two Lane Live, weighing in at, I don't know how many pounds, we've got John Bednars, a.k.a. Cycle Fanatics. He rides sport bikes. He rides Harleys. He does reviews, rides, like you said, just good vibes. He's a hell of a dude. He's coming at you from Jersey or something Jersey, like that. East Jersey Coast, let me boys. tell you about it, okay? <laughs> anyway, without further ado, we got Johnny Boy, Cycle Fanatics, in the house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was good. That was that was good. Thank you for that, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, simple so chest. How you doing? Over you there? you, How you doing? even got this right. <laughs> Come on, I want the gabagool. You know, get that. Yeah. Oh, what's up, How guys? Doing, How's John? everybody? Good, good. How you Fantastic, doing? Fantastic, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate you guys. Hey, it's always a good time. We like to hear everybody's story. You know. Yeah, so, yeah. By way of introduction, John, tell us a little bit about you know where you were ten or fifteen years ago. Oh, my ago. boy, Nadal. And then we'll lead um, into yeah. kind of what where you're at today. Yeah. So, uh, wow, 15 years ago, where was I? In New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but doing uh, 15 years ago, doing construction. You know, own uh, you know, own my own construction business for about 27 years, and uh, before that, you know, in the military, did four years in the Air Force, um, college for aeronautics, and. Uh, you know, then it just started. We uh, a couple of years ago, we made me and my buddy Paul just actually went down. It was I think it was in March. There was like two inches of snow on the ground. And um, I said, you know what, let me just record this. I, I, you know, I don't know why I said that, but I said, let me just record it. Grab grab the GoPro and just recorded the trip down to South Carolina. Uh, we did about like a four, four or five day trip, came back, put it up. And it got like over a hundred thousand views. I said, "Huh?" I said, "That's that's pretty interesting." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's that's kind of how it started, you know. And um, what really kicked it off was uh, during COVID. Um, you know, we couldn't work by you know clients' homes and stuff like that, so kind of stuck to the house and just riding a lot of riding. If you guys obviously remember that. Uh, time time we were in and oh, yeah. uh you know just did a just did a just kept riding kept recording videos had a lot of time to do it and then i just you know after a while you just start realizing you know something's working <laughs> that's how life works in funny ways you know it's, it was like fate and it, you got into this channel and now it's that's all you want to do 
I mean, who who doesn't? And you guys could vouch for this. Who doesn't want to ride motorcycles, right? You know, do what you love to do, you know, while recording. I mean, it's a lot of work, but kind of, you know, have your career being doing what you love, what you really, what you're passionate about, right? Well, hundred percent. I, I was going to ask you because we get this question a lot, and I'm sure you do as well. <clears throat> you know, you, you were an avid writer before you started this, and yeah, and has it changed your writing style? Of, is, do you feel it's like more of a job, or is it just back to what you just said? It's just my passion, and I love doing what I'm doing. Um, I mean, I started on sport bikes. I'm 51 years old now, so I started riding when I was 16 started on sport bikes had sport bikes for wow i don't know maybe <clears throat> close to a decade and a half maybe close to two decades and then uh got into harley davidson and i think mad max is probably like the 15th harley davidson <laughs> now so <laughs> um yeah i mean once you once you own a harley davidson you know it's like you never go back you know it's like it's the rumble the spirit of riding ah it's just there's nothing there's nothing like it and i and i always tell everybody it's not just the motorcycle it's it's the community around it it's the people that you meet the places that you go and um you know especially you know when we do like these rallies and the meet and greets the stories that you hear um the people that are inspired you know you know when they watch my crazy ass riding in in january here in, in new jersey when it's you know 10 degrees out um right you know that's that's what that's why that's why i do it now you know um it's it's an amazing feeling to to you know to know that somebody is um um, you know, just getting back at, at, on their motorcycle, especially after maybe an injury or or being, you know, ill, very ill. And, you know, for you to be that motivating factor to get them back onto that bike. Um, sometimes I'm not kidding. It just it brings a tear to your eye, you know. Oh, yeah. We've had a lot of those stories and it's it's it is. Chilling Theo, and it Theo. Theo. <laughs> You know, it makes you stoked to have that happen and, and be part of that community. It's it's awesome. Ah, uh, it's it's really amazing, and you know, and I, I I'm sure I can speak for both of us. It's just the thousands and thousands of like messages and emails and the people that we meet, and um, it, they motivate they motivate me. They motivate us, right? And that's that's kind of that's why we do it now. It's it's kind of transformed right? It has its own brain now. It's like before I was doing it just to, just to put it on, right? YouTube, I was like, it was really like more of fun, right? Let me just throw this video on YouTube. But now it's more, it, it really changed, you know, it really converted into something bigger. And well, when, we, when we started this, it was really to inspire people to get out and explore small towns and we've said this a hundred times if we've said it once right uh, it's completely flipped on us back to your point and the inspiration we had a, a lady call in the other day we've said this story a couple times and beautiful lady taking care of her parents her her dad was uh ridden with cancer and so they would watch all of our drops and she coined right. it to something like it was like saturday morning cartoons for him and he ended up passing away and her call was mm. about would you be willing to spread his ashes over his mother's grave and it's wow. like what like man that's heartfelt yeah, that's, and warm and touching yeah. and yeah it's just, you get it's you amazing. get chills you, you just get chills listening to stuff like that yeah it's those endless stories that that, that keep it happening so you know Stop playing with that. It's loud. <laughs> I mean, we were we were in uh, we went to Sturgis last year. We're in the Devil's Tower. I'll never forget. And we were in the um, I guess the uh, the shop that's right by Devil's Tower at the gate. Yep. Right. So we're in there. Me and Glenn are walking around and there's like 20, 20, 20 dudes from like Paris. They're like, you know, in the accent cycle fanatic. I'm like, yeah. And it was like amazing. It's like, cause you know, you think, oh, maybe just America, but no, it's, it's literally worldwide. It's like, 
it's gotten to a point where, and you guys have told me this uh, previously, you know, it's like they come to your shop, like from where, where where'd you say like Norway or the Netherlands, right? We've, we've had every day this week and every day last week and it, at least every I week mean, we get someone coming in from another country and it's been crazy. And literally right now there's a crowd of people outside. I don't know if you can see it that are that rode up from where bakersfield at? from baker so like three out two three hours away oh wow bakersfield yeah yeah but we've Probably created this that. destination point let them in our, yeah we, <laughs> they're they were in we, we created this destination point here with uh with the shop and we've got kind of a rider lounge and we've seen it on a couple of occasions already and we've only been oh, open that's a couple awesome of weeks where two different groups of riders that don't <clears> even know each other by the time they leave they've They've given each other their contact information and are going to go on a ride somewhere. Crazy. That's awesome. Well, listen, guys, I, I I really appreciate you guys having me on. But you, just so you guys know, honestly, you guys inspire me as well. Just looking at all these amazing places you guys go to that I haven't been to out west. I'm definitely going to be headed your way next year. <laughs> but um, go west, you know, young that's, man. Go west. <laughs> go west. That's right. But, uh, you know, that's what it's about. And that's, you know, I not. Yeah, I, I, we create content. I create content, but I haven't been we we all haven't been everywhere. Right. right. So we tried to I mean, if you wanted to go everywhere in America, it'd take you a lifetime and maybe you still wouldn't have time. Do you agree? Yeah, <clears throat> there's just sure. there's just so many beautiful places. You don't have to leave the country. There's just so many beautiful places um, in the United States to go to. And like, I watch you guys all the time. Uh, you three, you know, going to some of these amazing places you guys were in, obviously in Canada, that's, you know, the, you guys been to a lot of places that are on my bucket list that I'm going to definitely hit next year. The, the Canada trip was absolutely insane. Ah, Probably yeah. one of my top two or three rides ever. I think, I think I seen some Instagram posts from our buddy, Matt from Harley. He yeah. was just in yeah. Canada. Yeah, he did the same journey he basically did. <laughs> he was yeah, with the just family. Amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's it. Look, he, I think he's planning around. a trip back there next next year with his uh, his group that he rides with every year, where they do those bigger trips. I right, think that right. is on their bucket list if they can find the time. Right, it's like you, we got the one twentieth, we got Sturgis, we got so right, many right. plans ahead of us. It's amazing. We don't know what to do. We got we're scheduling now. The schedule changes, but you never know. You That's never crazy. Know what we're gonna do. So listen, just so you, just so everyone knows, I, you see, you see that sign in back of them. I'm gonna be sitting right in the middle of that <laughs> of these two great gentlemen right here next year. I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna be at their shop. We're gonna in, do a cross country trip. Alive. Thank you. I will. That's that. That's, that sounds live. great. Absolutely. You'll do it live, 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 live. live. in the moment, live. <laughs> you'll be that's live. Right. Yo, yo, yo. And, you, and you'll and you'll take me down to the uh, what is it? Neptune. Neptune Inn? Net. We'll take you to Neptune a couple Net. places. We're gonna text you a picture of Neptune's, or and you'll see what, why you know it's a destination. Wow. Yeah, hey, I can't so I wait. Know, I know. Uh, I know you don't <clears throat> stop riding unless it's like a blizzard and you can't get out. <laughs> but if it, you know, right. we're kind of blessed out here because the weather's so great. We we can ride pretty much all year long. Yeah. How, how does that impact your? You know, when you're trying to <clears throat> find, find content, is it that becomes more bike review and build at that point? I mean, no. If uh, I, I ride all winter long, so I I have uh, I got gr I got some great uh, you know winter gear you know electric heated gear, um, and I ride. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm not going to ride obviously if there's snow and ice on the ground, but even if it's 2025, 20, I'll go do I'll go do like a two day trip, a day trip. 400 mile day trip. Um, that's just like, it's just like me. I just, uh, you know, I come down in a garage. I'm like, I got to get on the bike. I'm sure you guys are the same, right? But you guys don't have to deal with the cold weather that I do. But not only that, I want to bring, um, I want to bring my viewers the content, right? So like, yep. 
I don't want to shut it down and just do stuff in the garage because basically here in New Jersey, we're talking, I'm going to say, you know, the weather's, the weather's been changing. So I'm going to have to say like, probably like not until end of December, January, February, March is, is pretty tough. It's really cold. Um, but we haven't, we haven't gotten a lot of snow in the past couple of years, knock on wood. But, um, you know, the, the weather is, uh, you know, years ago, it used to really be cold already in like November, December, but now it's kind of, it's shifting, you know? So I still want to, I still want to give the viewers some riding videos. Like I won't do it every day. Right. But I'll still throw, throw in some ride videos to like, uh, for example, like this year in January, February, I did some, they were actually really amazing. They were tough. Uh, but I just, I just left January, February. It was like, I don't know, 15 degrees. I went like 300 miles one way to like cater skill falls and to a couple different falls. I was like literally on a falls tear. <laughs> I was like hitting right. all the biggest falls. So, uh, if, if people don't know like cater skill falls and there's another one that I hit, I just can't think of it right now, but they're actually taller than Niagara. Wow. Wow. And, yeah. They're actually taller. One is taller than Niagara, a sheer straight drop. 50 feet taller than Niagara. And then the next one is uh, like 60 feet taller than Niagara, but it falls down into a pool and, and then it falls like another hundred feet into, um, into the stream that it flows out of. But I went there in the winter and let me tell you when you want to, it's beautiful in the summer, but in the winter, it's something different. Oh, right? Yeah, right. It was just frozen 400 foot cliffs um you know ice everywhere i had to be careful but it was worth it i have to say it was worth it that's why we say if you don't go you won't know <laughs> listen that, you guys got to watch this anonymous biker because he's a, he's a <laughs> look at a, he puts well, that, skis on why, his bike <laughs> that's why we we tried i mean we try to not avoid weather i mean if it's you know if it's going to rain and we're Oh, uh, we should skip the ride. No, we typically Listen, ride boat I, because we know uh, at the end of the day when that rain clears up, you right. get some of the best, most pristine views, smells. I mean, yeah, just uh, everything is clean. So that's why we tend to ride through the weather. Yeah. You, you, know? you, you said it well. It's not only the sights, but I tell everybody it's the smells that you don't, yep. you can't get in a car. And people, well, one people year, like, what do you, Go ahead. One year before we even had the channel, Galen and I were on the rim of the Grand Canyon. It was winter. Oh. It was getting dark. We were in a full blizzard riding through six inches of fresh powder on the road. And crazy. And we, didn't have camera, we didn't have cameras going, but in the Grand Canyon, which was right next to us, clouds were opening up. Rainbows. Were, it was like, and then it would close up again, and just the flurries. But we had to get to Williams. Amazing. We didn't capture one second of that footage because oh, we were on a mission. You right. Know? But and, it was a great memory. We, we did catch a flat rainbow once. We did. <laughs> you ever hear of a flat rainbow? No. A horizon. A horizon laying flat rainbow. N never seen it. No. Nope. It was Josh's first trip with us. He was on a Yamaha. It yes, was sir. raining and snowing. We went over Kit Carson Pass. We were at Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. We came around the corner. The, there was an eerie cloud formation, and it was like white. We came around the corner, and it opened up, and there was a rainbow horizontally on the lake for no probably kidding. five wow. seconds. We had a, we caught it on film. All of us. But mm -hmm. the second we saw it and enjoyed it, it was gone just as fast. And wow. like you said, that was almost immediately after going through the gnarliest weather well maybe not since we've done now but yeah my first no, the, the gnarliest weather was after the flat rainbow oh it was we were in, that's true we were in weather oh that was right before, out of carson that was yeah, right yeah, out yeah, of, yeah yeah out, out of uh -huh. you know, uh, that's Tahoe. that's that might be the first and last time you'll ever see that think about right. it oh, right. yeah. i think so. we've never i've yeah. never seen it it was yeah. essentially like uh a cross between a rainbow and aurora borealis they said during oh, the day. 
a rare flat rare. rainbow. And, and you have, you have, guys, have you guys ever seen that Aurora Borealis? No, no I'd I love want to. Too bad. Yeah, so I I used to when I was in the Air Force, we used to fly into Bangor, into Maine all the oh, time. Maine, yeah. Yeah, so we used to fly in there, and every time we landed, we used to do cargo runs, and we used to fly into the area. I used to get out of the airplane, and like, boom, right there on the tarmac, there it was. I got to see it someday. Well, next time so, you're in Bangor, go to Kimberly's on the on the water. Um, yep. on we the just, yeah, we that did was... some. I, I'll tell you, there, we did a trip last year. Um. Me, Glenn, and Bo, we did a trip last year. We left, we did, um, oh, my God, Americade, and then it was back-to-back. We did Americade, left Americade, went Route 4. If anybody's watching and in the area, or even if you're going to come into this area, you have to do this ride. It's uh, Americade to Laconia, Route 4, I believe it is, east straight into Laconia. Amazing. Well, when we come back east, you have to take us on that ride. Oh, Maybe absolutely. Yeah, you hit the uh you hit the Queechy, Queechy Gorge in Vermont, then you get into Laconia, and then we went um and we did a ride one day, and, and that's just how I am. Like I don't spend too much time at the rally per se. We ride, right? Well, I'll right. spend like a day, do do the vendors, do the thing, right? Do my walk and 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 then the rest of it is riding because that's for me that's what it's all about so we left one day we left um we left laconia we went straight east into maine and then straight north through maine almost to the border of canada and we hit a place called rangely lakes and it's heavily populated we were on a moose hunt i'm not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I still I still have to see a moose in a wild. And we just did a second trip into Maine and we still haven't seen one. But uh we went to a place called Rangely Lake Scenic Byway. And when me, Glenn, and Bo stopped, I'm not kidding. It something happened, and I'm I'm sure you guys been to these places that I'm probably gonna see next year. That you stop, you look. And the tear starts rolling down your face because it's so emotional because like people say, oh, why do you get so emotional? The view, you have to see these places. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, 100%. wow. It's like, wow. Like, you know. Have you been to the Grand Canyon? No, that's my, that's my point. That's why I watch you guys. The bucket list is already made next year. <laughs> I'm coming to you. <laughs> You got you got to see the Grand Canyon. It gives you chills yeah. every time you see it. Yeah, and that and that's my point. Like around here, there is some beautiful riding. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. If you go west, they're just at how should I say a hundred times the level, right? Yeah, they're just so much more grand. Like you know, well, I'm sure we'll talk about you know our New Mexico trip that we. It's just um, it's it's at a different level. Well, and you're going to you know, so, out, out here, you have, um, you could be in the desert and you rise into some very red stone and then you're up in tall pines and it all in the same yeah. day, you're just like, wow, I had these changes happen all along. And yeah, let, let's talk a little bit about New Mexico. I mean, I, if you would have said to me, um, you know, before we went on that ride, let's go ride in New Mexico, I would have said... <laughs> You know, I'm not so sure. Barren, we barren desert, right? <laughs> well, and, and we've, you know, Santa Fe is pretty, and that was that's one of the areas that that we rode through when we were doing our Route 66 stuff. But at the end of the day, I didn't realize in northern New Mexico, above Santa Fe, wow, how spectacularly beautiful, oh and the roads God. that we were on, what what an amazing ride! Outside of crazy, we can talk about all the friends too, but. The ride was just insane. Yeah, it was. It was um, it, for people that don't know. So um, myself, Tulane Life, a bunch of other um, content creators and bike builders, a lot of amazing people um, were invited 
uh, by the CEO uh, to actually come out to, to, to New Mexico. Um, he actually lives there full time, right? We're at his house. Uh, right. What a great, gracious host and amazing person. Um, and Harley in general, like people need to understand this. And I'm not, yes, I love the motorcycle, right? We love the motorcycle. We love the brand, but uh, people have to understand that there's people behind um, Harley Davidson that make it happen, right? So 100%. like, like Matt and PJ and Theo and, you know, even the CEO, all these people make this happen. Um, and they're Eric and Brad, Eric and Brad. I mean, yeah, I could go on and on and on. On and on. So it's like yeah. these, these people are, are the people that make this brand. And a oh. lot of people, obviously most people don't see what we see through our eyes. Right. So I just want to tell people now that you're in good hands. <laughs> I'm telling you now you're in good hands and not only um, the, the main factor is, is that these people care about the brand. They care about people. They love riding. Now I was behind Brad and that dude was dragging, a dragging an arm, touching the ground. <laughs> well, I got some video clips thing, of that, you know, the beautiful thing for, for me and for us is we've been on Harley's. We chose Harley's before we knew any of these guys. Absolutely. And men and women. And we love the bike. We love the brand. But that weekend for me personally showed right. me that they care, they ride and pretty much like what you're is backing up what you're saying. It's like they're genuine uh, people that are friends uh, and they do care about the industry. Well, I, I think it absolutely. I, I think just to have a group of people there to show that and, and be able to we can tell that story. Um, I think people don't realize the challenges Harley has in front of it and had in front of it before Yakin started as president and CEO. And, right. and you, you can definitely, I mean, I was surprised that every one of the, the people that were there were writers. Um, you know, sometimes you hear that maybe they're not right. Well, every one of them were writing. Um, they're, they're all great people, but they're, they're also corporate. I mean, they're they're focused on building this brand up and getting it right. And and you know, I I don't think we've ever said we're you know we're hard. We haven't been those guys. But I got to tell you, it makes you want to do that with the way they treated us. It makes it's, you feel family and teammates. And I got to say, the group of people that we had in our clump of riders, including yourself. I mean, we've been on rides before in, in Florida, different places on the new bikes and groups. And right. you got to do this tradition. But when we got up in the mountains and we tore out, uh. and split the group, we were like <laughs> ripping. That was so fun. Well, Detroit, yeah. was, he, he's like, I'll just let you guys go. But he, he was saying <laughs> how incredible it was to watch the 30 bikes, you know, carving. It's like a big snake. It was a, her a harmonic. It's, it's a uh, beautiful moment. dance, yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean, but, but late, late, we got yeah, to spend go more time with we got to spend more time with you. We got to spend more time with Lorna, some people we hadn't met before. Uh, it was an impressive three days. I, I've got to tell you. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I reiterate definitely everything you guys just said. I mean, they take care of you. Harley Davidson takes care of you. I know. Yeah, we're content creators. Yes. I mean, I understand. They're not going to do that for everybody. But right. just so the viewers know, we're being taken care of. They're all great people. The brand is fantastic. I think it's never been better than it is now. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there at this place that we were staying and just admiring the, the river that was running through the middle of the property. And all of a sudden I hear, hey, and you're waving up at me. <laughs> And I'm waving Dude, at you. Listen, and I, I, I take the key, right? I take the key. I hit the door, and and mind you, we we all have altitude sickness. We did everybody, right? So, like, am I right? No, every I thirty minute, it. what? No. Every thirty minutes, you didn't get dizzy at all. We're we're used to the heights. We we kind of hang. Oh, out okay, maybe nothing. Me me every thirty minutes, 
just so everybody knows, when we were in New Mexico, we were at about 6,000 feet to about 10,000 when we got to yep. Taos, right? So every 30 minutes or so, I'd get this like lightheaded spell and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. Was it? It wasn't only me, only me. It was. It was a lot of people. Oh, there's a few. Um, yeah, because I mean, r- me personally, I'm at sea level, right? So we're. I'm definitely not used to that. But what's funny is that hotel we were staying in. Somebody walked out with like this oxygen canister. I I'm know. like, what? I'm like, what the hell is that? They're like, oh, there's there's uh, O2 in the uh, in the lobby. I'm like, what do you mean O2? So I go in there. I said, "Yeah, give me a can of O2." And sure as shit, it's a can of O2 that every now and then you just, you know, if you're feeling a little lightheaded or not too good, you take a little swig, right? Um, but honestly, it it, it didn't help. <laughs> I like I like that comment on there. That one guy saying Lance is always dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I think. Because you you don't indulge in alcohol, but you did the first night, so I don't think it was altitude sickness. I think it was hungover. No, no, it's it's no, oh, absolutely not. It's definitely you know what's crazy on the bike moving, maybe because it's like ram air, if that makes sense, ram air, right? Because the the air is less dense, so ram air. I didn't feel it at all when we were on our bikes. When we got to the hotel, especially yeah. in Taos, the Blake, that's at like about 10,000, I think 200 feet. And and yeah, by the way, that place is absolutely insane. But um, yeah, I felt it there. Like, you know, getting into the elevator and then half an hour later again, it, it was just like a lightheaded feeling and then it would go away. Strange. Well, we, you know, we, like I say, we've, We've done a lot of mountain passes. We've hung out in high altitude. So I think our bodies what, are custom. What altitude are you guys at? Right now, about 980 feet. Okay. Where our studio okay. is. Gotcha. But we could be at 2,500, 3,000, 5,000. You got, quick. hey, you got good genetics. You got good yeah. genetics. Yeah, 10,000. Yeah, talking about well, sizzle <laughs> chest. <laughs> the jerky boys. <laughs> But I'll tell oh, you, yeah, my that, wife, that trip was to, that trip was fantastic. How we how are your Colorado. wives? Tell them I said hello. We will. We went to Colorado, and my wife got uh, altitude sickness up oh, there. See? And my nephew was like, "Oh, he does sports medicine and helps athletes." And he whipped up a concoction. She drank <laughs> it, and within five minutes, it was like gone. Are you gone. serious? No more. What was it? Sickness. What was it? I don't know. It must have been like. You know, ginseng, Mo- motion, you know. motion sickness or altitude sickness, altitude sickness. Wow. There, there's like, a concoction for that, huh? <laughs> yes, there is. I'll get the recipe. Well, everyone was taking those <laughs> oxygen bottles out. So I went to grab <clears> them <throat> just to see what the hell they were all about. And I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, <laughs> <"Huh."> <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would have took it. Listen, if I if I could have took it back on a plane, I would have took it back so I could show it. I do have a picture of it though. Yeah. Yeah, and and back to the I mean, we were lucky because we hit it at the right time of year. If if we would have been a week later, it would have been a little more colorful. But that right. when we got up into the Quake and Aspen and that and the backside coming back down into Yokin's Ranch, uh oh. Some insane colors too. So, coming going back to how Harley Davidson and not not just Harley, but how it's obviously CEO and employees are like. Think about this. Like I'm talking to the viewers now. The CEO invited us to come ride motorcycles in New Mexico, and then invited us to his own home to have dinner. Let that let that sink in for a little bit. Yeah. Right? Am I right? Like, let that sink 100%. in for a little If I'm the CEO of a $6 billion corporation, am I bringing just anybody? And when I say anybody, I, I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. But we are like, we're anybody, right? Compared to <laughs> the big right. scheme of things, right? So that's how I look at it. So am I inviting 
like we you know we met his family and his kids like this dude so people know he is the he's the real deal he's the real deal he cares but about you know this what? company but you know what he sees what we all do on the daily and we put our work and effort into it and that's why they take care of us and that's why we are invited i mean not every creator was invited but the group that was invited but I think I think there's what I felt from that was more of the brand loyalty. Yes. Like brand loyalty. We've had chances to do different things and right. and we've said no and we could have and maybe got paid for something. And um, yeah, I, I agree. Absolutely. No, we, we like the heart and the soul. Lance likes to say people from Europe or other countries that come across to do Route 66. And this is no disrespect to anyone that owns an Indian. Right. But they don't say, I want to do it on an Indian. They say they want to do it in a muscle car, a convertible, or a Harley Davidson. Right. I mean, that's that's well, kind listen, of what I'm, you I'll, I'll just uh, kind of, uh, you know, follow up on what you just said. If we're, and again, I'm not saying nothing bad about Indian, but any rally that is associated with any rally in, in the entire United States to buy Harley Davidson. Yeah. Am I, well, am I not right? It's about Harley we're, Davidson. We're, it's right. We're, we're it's so more into the than, brand. Right. It's if, more if than the brand about, went away from us. If the brand went nah. away from us and we weren't working with them, the three guys in this room would still be riding Harleys because it's what we oh, like. Oh, hundred, a hundred percent. It's not. Yeah, absolutely. It's not. It's not about that. But um, the big thing is the the brand has been there for a long time, and 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 you know what's crazy? When we went to Milwaukee, right? I was with you guys in Milwaukee. Let me tell you something. I have to mention this. When I was at the Milwaukee plant. People need to go there. Like, this is not something like, okay, you're in um, Glacier National Park. I'm not talking about that. This is a different type of feeling. When you you have to go to Milwaukee and you have to go to uh, Juno, am I pronouncing it correctly? Juno. 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 And you have to go to where it all started. And when yeah. I went there with Rob – big shout out to rob when i went there with rob um let me tell you i had i had friggin' chills man when i brought the bike back over there and rolled it in over right that yeah. um the walk that they have the connecting walkway. the two buildings yeah. then i did the, the drone track. footage uh, yeah i'm telling you i i felt this uh I don't know what I felt, but I, I just felt this like I, what I was thinking was like, wow, I'm back in 1903. Like what was happening at that time? Like, I wonder the, 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 the whatever the conveyor belts, like the motorcycles coming down, like what was happening? Right. It was really nostalgic for me, especially loving the brand for so long. It was really a nostalgic feeling. Like if you guys could understand what I'm saying, right. So I totally it. understand what you're yeah, saying. It you was know, the just whole thing that the whole thing that we say is, you know, our motorcycles are time machines and they take us on the two lanes back into small towns, back into right. history. So what you're saying is exactly what we feel. You go yeah. back in time, you feel the money. It gets in your soul. Yeah. Like I was feeling like, uh, I don't care if you want to laugh, but I was literally like, I was, I put my hand on the brick of the wall of the building and i'm thinking looking through the building looking through the windows what was going on in 1903 when this all started right like you got to think about that shit like th well, this crying, is john you're you're crying you've got a tear coming down. no 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 nothing right now <laughs> <laughs> nothing right now but literally like at those, mo it. at those moments like if you love Harley Davidson and you love the brand, like I'm, I'm American, I'm military, I'm American. I'm sorry, fucking hundred percent, right? Like yeah. if if you love the brand, if you love your country, like holy cow, like you know, put your hand on a wall, think about 
what happened. It's not about, you know, like a lot of people throw politics and a lot of crap into um, conversations. I don't like that. And that's why I never, you know, we talked about that. That's why I never involve politics, what's going on. I don't watch the news. I live in the moment, right? We live in the moment. You guys do, right? You guys go on these beautiful rides and to these amazing places. You got to live in the moment. But I, I think we're also, yes, you have to live in the moment, but I think we're also good judges of character. And I think that's why we get along with you so much, because I know that you're passionate about it. I know right. that you are pretty damn real. When you're talking to you, you're not talking to something that's, you know, all about themselves. It's about these great stories. It's about sharing. It's about giving back. And, yeah. and I think that's why, you know, we connect with you on that, on that level. Cause we try to do that ourselves. Um, and I think it shows, you know, every day there's that, someone. That's why we only, on that's why we got picture. along. That's why we got yeah. along. I think really yeah. well because I love what you guys do. I mean, yeah, we love what I you just do. friggin, you know, just just the riding in the rain, man. It just I'm like, oh shit. I when I when I watch you three on the bikes in the rain, I'm and I'm like, it's all and I'm dry. I'm like, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> do you can you understand that though? Yeah, I'm like man. I'm literally, I'm literally pissed. I'm like, they're freaking riding in the rain. I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here. It's dry. I'm sitting in my garage. No, no, no. This ain't happening. Let's go do something. <laughs> like that's that's all. That's awesome stuff because it, it it pushes. Well, I can't say pushes. It inspires people to not be afraid. You know, well, to a let a little loose, right? Do you have anything? You you were pointing. And you were pointing. Like you do want. you have? Oh no, your boy Rob, uh, be the boss of your motorcycle was on the screen. So I was oh, just po I was pointing to his uh his username. Yeah, yeah. Rob yeah. Rob is the man. He's a great guy. Well uh, when we're on our let me together, let me tell you top notch, top notch, the best. Yep. Oh, there's Matt. <laughs> Where's Matt? Is that full tank adventures? Full yeah, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> well, when we ride together, the three of us, we've been riding so long and we have hundreds of thousands of miles on our bikes with each other. Right. We know every move. We we just have this vibe. It's just like uh right. flying birds, you know. We just got it. So so John, a couple times you've mentioned, and I'm I'm sorry, I don't remember the guys' names, but you have a a crew that you ride with. Why don't you tell us kind of their names and just a little bit about them? Oh man. Put me on a spot. I hope I remember everybody because let me tell you, <clears throat> my channel wouldn't, wouldn't be what it is without, uh, the crew that I ride with. Uh, so Glenn, Nadal, uh, Gil, George. Oh my God. I'm probably going to forget Sammy. I got to go into the group chat. Uh, Sandy right, from Holy, pissing. Sandy from Holy Shift, uh, David Hudson Motor Visuals. Um, oh my God, I hope I don't get beat up. <laughs> well, you I, won't. So, I'm, but, I'm yeah, but you anyway, do you you guys, you guys, you guys know who you are. The riding group that I'm always with. That that literally you you and and I'm sure you guys uh, could understand. It, you can't do this by yourself. Right. It's like even it's like even uh thrashing, right? They're together. They they have a chemistry, right? Am I right? They have right. a chemistry going for them and it's something special. Like like you three, um, like me and me and my boys. I mean, I I would I wouldn't be in this place if I if I didn't like who wants to see some dude riding by himself, right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right though? Like, who wants no. to see that? Unless you have some, I don't know. Unless you're doing some backflips off a bridge, you know, and then pull the ripcord and pull the parachute into a river. You know what I mean? But you need you need your a core group of guys that you ride with, right? Uh, Sipa right. Bagger George. Um, yeah, I mean, I gotta. Uh, 
I hope I'm not forgetting somebody, but yeah, no, I, mean, I mean, I think I heard you mention like Glenn and a, is, there's there's probably two or three that you're always riding with, and then you got a right. larger group. But yeah, Manny. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. we have what well, we. And, and this is, and I'm going to tell you guys something, which is uh, I'm not going to get emotional, but I'm going to tell you guys something. When I started this channel, I did one meet and greet with a group ride. I don't know. And this was a long time ago. Like I said, probably about three years ago, <clears throat> maybe a hundred people showed up. And after the ride, um, a few people, I got their numbers and this is the core group. These are my viewers, my subscribers that became effing brothers, man. Right, right. right. That's the truth. That's the truth. That is the God's honest truth. My core group of guys that you guys see in my videos, in the main trips, in the, in the Laconia trips, in the Daytona, like Danny from Canada, friggin' <laughs> Mac, what's up, buddy? Danny from Canada actually rode down to New Jersey to ride with me to Daytona this past March. Like, think about it. Right. So it's like, I mean, like I could go on and on. We would need literally days. And I'm sure you guys would, would too, but I would need days to talk about like some of the coolest shit that I, I don't put on YouTube. Um, because I, you know, probably won't work good for a video but it is some of the coolest heartfelt shit uh on the planet you know what i mean like riding bonding brotherhood right that's what it's all yeah, about I mean, that's that's what it's about to me like like rob like life, rob man. like rob uh I, I mean amazing channel amazing guy I, him and Anita, his wife, just amazing people I met traveling tall. You guys, like amazing people that I have met through YouTube. That's another even conversation we could, you know, dive into, which would take well, probably uh, a day. <laughs> YouTube is driven by what? The motorcycles. That's yeah. our content. And so it's that community we talked about earlier, like, you, you meet some of the greatest people. We've got people that right. are commenting right now, riding with yogurt, SoCal <laughs> Squatch. I mean, we've got people that we didn't know three and a half years ago. Right. That right. come right. to the shop and hang out and and have been on rides with us. And, and yeah, I mean, it's just like I was saying earlier with the destination point we're trying to create here. You know, I've seen two separate groups that arrived separately and they left with exchanging their phone numbers and they're going to go on a ride. So it's cool to Absolutely, see that. And, man. Oh, by the way, what's your Instagram uh, handle? How do we find him? Same cycle fanatics. And everything is in the video description. He got his website, his YouTube, his Instagram, all that stuff. So just giving it a shout, you know, check it out. Check it out. We just got to plug that out. there, John. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it guys. Thank you, man. <laughs> What were you going to say? I uh, forget. Oh, he lost. <laughs> <it>. he lost <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, but next year, uh, definitely next year. So everybody knows um, doing a cross country trip to a lot of the places. Uh, if you don't follow them yet, you're crazy. Two lane life. Um, follow them. They've been to uh, probably most of the places that are on my bucket list. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to definitely um, head down to their shop, do a live stream next year. That's, that's now, a guarantee. When are you, you going to plan on doing this with Sturgis and with the so that, that's a, Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good question. So I'm thinking obviously weather, weather has a, a big factor, right? So <laughs> in order to, lay down the most miles possible um it's probably gonna be i th i think if i'm not mistaken what we heard right when we were in milwaukee i think it's gonna be milwaukee and then right after that sturgis if i'm not mistaken so right after sturgis just actually ride home to southern california there you go <laughs> yeah that's what i i yeah i, I think i'm i think it's gonna be probably milwaukee sturgis and then 
I mean, I'm at Sturgis already, probably Glacier National Park. Um, wine through maybe Yellowstone, something like that. Like I, I, I really didn't uh, look on a map and start planning yet. But that's the plan, and um, you got to go right down into Utah and Arizona but, from there. But you could do it, Bear Tooth yeah. Pass, go into the park, could do Bear Tooth Pass, and then start working your way south. If you can get into Glacier, that would be great. But you're going to stay up higher or north. Uh, but you got to—I don't know. Maybe it's. Well, I mean, in August, I should be fine. Obviously, right? It could be pretty yeah. warm. But yeah, hey. We've ridden in 118 degree weather, and uh, the next day we were in yeah. snow on the same yeah. trip in August. Right. Yeah, on funny, the funny, you, funny you said that. I took the family. We flew into LA. Wow, 20 years ago, flew into LA. It was about 95 degrees. Rented a car, drove to Sequoia National Park, and eight feet of snow still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well, we were in Needles, Needles, California. One was 118. It was August on our way to Sturgis, parked our bikes, put some gas in them and walked into the walk-in cooler and hung out there for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. Hey, hey, John, before we uh, sign off here, let's talk just a few minutes about your son and, and getting into riding and How's that been going? I kind of saw that early on and you guys got him a rebel and what what's yes. happened with that? That's kind of cool to see that he's now out riding as well. Yeah. So um, we actually, uh, right before the podcast, we actually came back from Bergen County, uh, Harley Davidson's last bike night, the, the, the previous like four, it's been raining a lot here in the Northeast. I think 22 out of 28 weekends has been raining. That's how much rain we got. Um, but took him to the last uh, bike night at the Harley Davidson dealer. He had a blast. Um, what he did was he bought a Honda Shadow 750 Aero uh, the beginning of the season. He put about 2,000 miles on it. And uh, listen, he's he's Harley. But obviously, he he paid for it. I have to give him credit. He paid for it with his own money. Um, he worked hard, going to college, worked hard, paid for it with his own money. This is what I'm going to get. He had a plan. I'm going to ride it for a season, which he did. But now is the time. Um, he's going to be looking for a Dyna. So if anybody has one out there, email me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 2008, 2009, 2010. Um, you know, maybe we'll, we'll – you got to throw some thrashing bars on it or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but that's that's the style bike he he wants uh, moving forward. And um, yeah, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait until he gets to Harley Davidson and we could, especially in the winter, we could do some some uh, uh, build videos, right? Some upgrade yeah. videos on the bike. But he's been doing really good. Again, about two thousand miles on it. Um, you know, and it's always, you know how it is. Be careful, head on a swivel. <laughs> um, right? Watch, watch for crazies. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not so much, yeah, you gotta watch what you do, but you know, you also you also have to, you know, watch for others and you gotta have you gotta have eyes 360, you know, even when no, we ride. I can tell you I'm there's sorry. nothing better than riding with your son. Yeah. 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 You guys, so, you guys and, put a lot of, you guys just, yeah. just did a bun burner, right? With your son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and for me, the, the real awesome thing about riding with my son is I have my partners and, and my team and we all ride together and we love riding together and to share that experience, they ride with my son as well. So we've created this big family and the yeah. guys that we go to Sturgis with Sturgis with, we're a team and we're a, we're like a, a solid group that love to be together. I just wish his That's son could awesome. ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you, you guys are, you guys are going to be in Sturgis, right? Next year. Absolutely. Yeah. We never miss it. So, never so miss let it. me, so let me ask you from Sturgis, where are you guys going? Are you guys headed straight oh. back home? Or are you guys yeah. doing something? No, oh, straight, straight back, back home. home. Straight but back if you home. Did, okay. If you did the loop, 
So what we should do is, I think we talked about this in November, we're going to start putting out our ride plans and we should get with you and see what right. you're thinking about. And, you know, do we split off and do a little something or do we just meet you in Southern California or what? So let, let's talk through that because we, we would like to, yeah. to, to join up with you somewhere. Well, we, okay. If we, you guys are going to, if you guys are going to plan, um, obviously I'm not fam too familiar with, with that area of the, the route from Sturgis back to your guys' home. But if there's some wicked destinations like bucket list destinations that I could hit that you guys wouldn't mind doing going back home and me following you guys all the way back home, I would do it. So, well, so think, think so, about that. If not, then, you know, we'll figure yeah, something you'll else out. To, what you'll have to think about is how many days you want to be gone because they're, you are close to some places that we probably we've already been to that we would just head back home, but like bear tooth paths, um, you know, y Yellowstone is, you got to see it at least once if you haven't seen it. Um, right. Cutting back down through Southern Utah and then through Southern Utah, if you could hit Zion potentially before you go into Vegas, um, we'll probably burn back another thousand miles and be home in a day and a half. Right. Right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk, you know, we'll talk, um, in the next couple months, figure something out, but either way, it, even if we don't travel the same route back, you guys go home, I'll meet you guys, whatever, a couple weeks later at yep. your shop. And then we could take it from there. Maybe you guys could, you know, show me around. No, well, we'll definitely show you around. Um, awesome. Well, we we really appreciate the time, John. I I know we called uh, earlier in the in the week or, or later last week and said, "Hey, let's jump on." And and you're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Um, you're a good friend. We love what you do. You're you're a guy that you know you can put trust in and and be there for people. So we just appreciate love you, you guys. I, I I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Hopefully you had some fun. Oh, I had a lot of fun, man. Can't wait to see All you right. guys. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking forward to. Right being, in, being, in Ca being in Cali and right between you guys, right there by the two way life sign. Well, you just came from a uh, bike night and we're actually gonna leave and go to a bike night. Oh sweet. Yeah, because it's like what, like six AM, uh six PM right now by you guys? Uh five PM, yeah. Yeah. Five PM. You know, <laughs> We, we hang out so much together for the last 30 years that like we'll i'll think of something i'm going to say and he'll I say, about it, to say right? we're going to bike night he just takes off my line see it's like the vibe it just <laughs> we didn't have we had lines set up there and he's just taking them no we read each other's minds that's right just like you guys said even riding you you guys know what you guys are going to do yep, yep. Hang on for just a second, and we'll come back and say say goodbye to you. But hang on. Yeah, for thank one you second. guys. Appreciate appreciate all the viewers that uh, tuned in. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. See you in a minute. So where do well, they find this? What was that? Where do they find this one? Where do they like, find uh, this? Well, YouTube Live. If they want to listen to it again, they can watch this again. It sounds like this sounded and looked quite a bit better than the last couple. Fantastic. Might have got it dialed in, but yeah. You can go to uh, Spotify, Apple Music, I think Amazon Podcasts and all that. Just type in Two Lane Life Highwaymen. You'll see the podcast, maybe in a, maybe even a music playlist that we've made. And, yeah, don't forget to check out TwoLaneLife.com, V-Twin Parts, vlogs, blogs with eats and stays and roots from our trips, parts apparel, you know, and some pictures. What's coming up? We got our big grand opening open house on the november 4th come on and support it it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to have a lot of great people a lot of get giveaways ten thousand dollars worth of giveaways tacos chili be there be square and thank you john we really appreciate jumping in here with this podcast we love it uh love the stories about harley it's bringing it home it's real good people and that's what you find in our community so what do they need to do? Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, what?
subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends. We love to get you over there because we have some great videos. Don't be shy. And if you get a chance and they're around, call your grandmother, call your cousin, call your brother, call your sister, and tell them about tell them about Psycho Fanatics and Tulane Life. Hey, You'll be glad you did. And tell them they're from Jersey. Come on. Come on. Forget about it. All right. We will uh, see, you, see down you down the road. Yo. Boom.